I'm back, back with another video. Yes, is it the middle of the night? It is. You know, I'm a grad student, um, and I, I work, and I'm a grad student, and I make these videos for you guys. Mwah, love you. But the only time I can find to film is at night, when everybody's asleep. So, it's gonna be one of those videos. I'm gonna be talking a little softer, just so I don't wake anybody up. Um, peep my earrings. Aren't they really cute? They're like butterfly wings. We're back on my bed because I just don't feel like sitting on the floor. Hi, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be going over 50 crochet ideas specifically for intermediate to advanced crocheters. In a lot of my beginner crochet videos, um, I had a lot of comments saying, hey, I love your content, but I'm advanced or intermediate. Do you have any difficult, challenging patterns that I can do? Can you make a video? A lot of you guys wanted this, so <laughs> I am delivering. I am delivering once again what my babies want, you know? So before we get started, friendly reminder, everything is going to be listed down below in the order that I say it with a link to a written pattern or a video pattern and all the photos you see in this video will be in a cohesive pinterest board we love it i love being organized i am going to be doing little category markers at the bottom so you can skip around if you want to skip a category if you're like girl i'm tired of making clothing skip the clothing category i don't care it's for you easy for you so the categories that we have for this video we have six categories we have stitches clothing blankets bags tapestry crocheting and then everything else that didn't fit into those categories okay the categorizing of this video is a little wonky uh just because you'll see you'll see okay so the first category we have is stitches so specifically for stitches some of these are patterns some of these are just like state of mind you know so the first one that i want to rep i want to bring up is freeform crochet i'm gonna move over here so you can see it over here okay freeform crocheting can look like these blobs can look like this blob okay i got two photos for you the reason there isn't really a pattern is because like that the, that's the whole vibe it's just freeform you just pick a crochet hook you pick some scrap yarn and you start putting it together and you just go crazy, you go wild, you do whatever you feel like. That's freeform crocheting. So if you haven't tried that and you're advanced and you know all your stitches, you know how to increase and decrease to make things from getting wonky and, you know, to having, having bumps when you lay it flat, I recommend trying that out because it's very fun. It's very like creatively free, okay? So definitely try that out if you haven't. Another stitch I think is a little more advanced is a pineapple stitch. Um, just keeping all these pineapples on the same side was very hard for me as a beginner i always flipped them around and then i got really confused and the changing the colors and not having the colors show up with the background color <sighs> so pineapple stitch okay there's levels to this that's probably more of an intermediate free form is more of like advanced um another thing is this like scale stitch that's kind of hard not all beginners can do that or this skull pattern but like it's a cohesive continuing skull. It's not like a skull granny square that ends. It's just like a cohesive continuing skull pattern. That's kind of cool. Or this iris stitch, or even the dragonfly stitch. I'd say intermediate, I'd say um, advanced. This could be pretty easy for you, but if you're between advanced and beginner, I'd say just dragonfly stitch. Or even this crochet wave stitch, it's pretty cool or a leaf stitch border that's a little more a little more than beginner and that's all i got for you for stitches um so moving on to the clothing category we have these spiral bikinis now let me freaking tell you the first time i did a spiral anything it was a spiral coaster and that took so much trial and error because you have to like work with multiple colors and also keep track of like where you're decreasing and what different stitches you're doing it can be really confusing for a beginner so i recommend that if you're not a beginner or even this strawberry um bralette cute 
or tops like this like this really pretty crochet top with bell bottom sleeves something like this where it's very like detailed and intricate or even this this mandala um dress like which very cute very like fairy core okay i'm into fairies right now don't ask or this like skirt and top set we've got multiple things going on we've got checkered we've got stripes something advanced like this that's kind of cool or even like a spider web crochet top or the heart crochet tops i've seen these heart ones they blew up like a year ago all over tiktok all over youtube i tried it as a beginner i gave up i might revisit it now that i'm not a beginner anymore but as a beginner i couldn't do it um i kept messing it up there's also this vintage pattern that kind of is like a moth shawl vintage patterns specifically are where it's at if you're advanced because a lot of the time vintage patterns don't really give you a good like description of your stitches or image examples of the stitches because it's vintage and you don't have all the same materials that you have today or the hooks sizes can be off so if you're advanced i would go to vintage because you can kind of do some google searching and pull from your prior knowledge of crocheting to fill in all the bits and bobs and the ends and you'll still end up with whatever the pattern is you know what i mean um if you're looking for vintage patterns there's a lot on my etsy stop on my etsy shop just saying um or you can make this my 2k baby doll-esque top or this skull shawl if you're into skulls i've been into skulls for a little bit now um or like a tapestry um the base of this butterfly top is tapestry crochet and the sleeves are obviously not tapestry crochet but anything like sleeves that have bell bottom sleeves that's just a lot of counting and a lot of keeping track of where all your stitches are and where you're slip stitching perfect for intermediate or advanced or even this um flame sweater this flame sweater that's tapestry crocheting um but on a large scale <laughs> and or this um tight body fit dress that has a little twist on the top piece that's cute a little more advanced or this luna crop or even this three-piece really detailed granny square top so yes it's granny squares but it's like it's the advanced granny squares it's for the people who have been crushing for a while so that's all i have for clothing our next category we've got is blankets okay blankets this blanket was super popular for a bit it's like 70s i downloaded the pattern i bought the pattern for this as a beginner who's never done anything before and it was the most confusing thing i had ever read ever and i literally did never did it so if you're intermediate or advanced then i recommend this um or you can make this elegant it's called elegant free crochet flower pattern design <laughs> um it's kind of cool I like how there's like different levels to it it raises up and raises down flattens out or this sophie's dream blanket that seems pretty detailed and intricate or this fluffy it's called a fluffy stitch baby blanket interesting very detailed the key to advanced is detail or like odd shapes so pandora's box blanket that's a very weird stitch but it looks really cool in the end or again we've got some spiral stitching but it's more of like galaxy blanket type you know what i mean a bunch of spirals together or this lotus blanket again detailed intricate or even this fire blanket and that is all i've got for blankets so for bags a lot of bags are beginner friendly i was when i was looking for this i was like wait a beginner could do that a beginner could do that like it was hard to find non-beginner friendly bags but i did find two i found this moth i think it's a moth it could be a butterfly heart-shaped bag i think it's cute or the strawberry bag which is basically tapestry crocheting um and this like she's in the middle of making this really thick handle that's not beginner friendly um speaking of tapestry crochet tapestry crocheting is basically grids okay so if you find a picture and you slap a grid over it that's tapestry crocheting the only reason that i would say sometimes it can get really advanced is when you're keeping track of like more than three colors 
it can be very not beginner friendly in the sense of saying as a beginner you want to complete projects and it's just so unmotivating at least for me tapestry crochets with more than two colors i'm like as a beginner i was like oh hell no okay even as an advanced crocheter which i would consider myself advanced i will not go near tapestry crocheting okay it just pisses me off frankly it just really makes me upset i think it's because i get i get the yarn really tangled really fast and i don't know how to untangle it and then i just cut it and i'm i give up okay which is fine but if you like tapestry this beetle one is really detailed this really big moth one i thought was pretty it's detailed or even this little this like hello kitty style one or even this one which a bunch of different shades of red like how do you even keep track of that anyways if if you want to if you think you're advanced enough go for it okay do it um and then our last court our last category that we have oh my god it is late i'm forgetting how to talk is miscellaneous within this category i think this is the most miscellaneous miscellaneous category that i've ever had um if i'm being or i guess it's like everything else but this is the most everything else category that i have ever um we have this praying mantis <laughs> don't judge me okay i think it's really cool and i think this is going to be a very niche part of my subscribers that are going to make this praying mantis but it's a praying mantis I, I i mean it's freaking cool okay or these starfish they're really detailed or even the swirly cat coasters or this gummy bear granny square or this chicken bag or this flower fairy hat or even this dinosaur okay i've seen these granny square dinosaurs everywhere and they look simple but for one placing those granny squares in the correct spot is like a minefield okay it's really hard i've tried or you can make these butterflies which they look simple but if you look at it fanned out it doesn't it's not that simple um or even this what is it mosaic pot holder look at the detail on that thing that is difficult or this flower hot pad like pot holder but it's just the way that it's all woven and looks really difficult or this shamrock again a lot of counting a lot of difficult or this wisp weave hexagon maybe i'm saying that right wisp weave wisp wisp weave whatever this hexagon okay cute difficult or even this flower pot holder just it just adds like instead of the beginner stuff you know it just adds another layer it just looks looks more difficult okay and that is the last category that's the last category that is all 50 of our intermediate to advanced crochet ideas if you've done any of these and you're like girl those were super easy those were not beginner as a beginner i've done this let me know in the comments i could be wrong my gauge of like what's intermediate and what's advanced could be way off so if it is let me know let me know but don't be too harsh okay i'm really sensitive <laughs> everything i said in this video is linked in the description box below in the order that i said it with corresponding links to either written patterns or video patterns and every single picture in this video is on a pinterest board also linked in the description box below so with that being said don't forget, if you want to be involved in an upcoming video, um, I want to do some Q&A type videos, but I want to pull from you guys directly uh, over on Instagram. So go follow me on Instagram. I have two Instagrams. Follow the amazing page. You don't have to follow amazing page creations. Okay, that's my Etsy Instagram. That's just where I post Etsy updates. So if you want to know Etsy updates of when I'm posting patterns or things on my Etsy, you can follow that one, but if you want to be part of Q&As or more like personal side of my life or what YouTube videos are coming up, definitely follow my personal Instagram, The Amazing Page. I will link it down in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, please like this video and subscribe to my channel, okay? It really freaking helps me and it only takes a few seconds. I am so thankful for how far we've come with subscribers. I feel like literally a month ago, I was barely, like I just hit a thousand and we're literally i think we're at like 30 something right now 30 something thousand so i just want to say a thank you and i love you guys so much and i sit 
sometimes I just sit and read all your comments and you guys are so sweet so I just I love you guys okay it's 3 a.m I'm feeling sentimental feeling sentimental okay anyways love you guys thank you bye